How would I describe my sound? I would say dark folk meets Celtic soul. My name is Shane O'Farrell. I'm an Irish singer-songwriter. and I'm living here in Vienna, the capital of Austria. I think mostly I'm, I'm influenced and defined by Ireland. Not just the music, but I think the land. My music tends to come from that wellspring, Gaelic, in English or Irish, and it's my connection to home. But I think with as a solo artist, I'm a folk singer. But with the band, it's more dark folk and a little bit of beats and rhythms. Staring all the love you found because I'm there. We came together kind of organically. It took about five or six years for this lineup to happen. And uh, over the space of six years, I met the musicians separately from different projects and the band grew and grew and grew. And, and we, we found ourselves now in a position where we're about to release an album and it's called Lessons in Light. The album tells the story of the band and how we came together as, as musicians and their journey because they all come from other parts of Austria also. Yeah, what I'm most proud of is the ability to communicate and the ability to, to come together with people. Not to sound too hippy-dippy about it, it's, it's really what music should be for. I come from a tradition where music is, is about bringing people together. It's not about going on stage, it's not about making millions and being on YouTube and all of that. I think we forget that the old values of music is community. And I think, well, I, I know that's how I feel about what my life and music has brought to me, is the ability to be in a room with people, having fun and, and making sounds that mean something, I would hope. When I miss home, I, I tend to go for a walk around Vienna. There's a lot of places in the city that, that have an Irish history and an Irish connection. I think being in Vienna, you can't help but be influenced by the tradition, by the culture, by the sounds and the walls, by the water even. But it reminds me of Dublin. Dublin, back in 2000 years ago, Ireland would have been the centre of a Celtic world, and now it's on the periphery. And like Vienna, they have, they're like sister cities to me. To me, Vienna is the violin and Dublin is, is the fiddle. There is that connection, kind of a sympathetic resonance. The way I write seems to be organic. When I began to write songs, I feel I had no choice. The music just came and the songs and the words came. But I think as you express and you develop your songwriting skills, you tend and you learn to write about things that affect you and things you think you could change. So you hone your craft and you become better at your craft so you can write to order now. So now I write about things that I, I really want to write and I also have that other tool kit where I can get the inspiration. So. It's a mixed bag, really. But you, you were asking me about music, about the resonance of music, and how a city or a place can determine a song or a sound. If you think about Irish music, traditional music, it sounds like the land. The Delta blues sound like the Delta blues. You know, punk comes from the inner city. And you asked me if my songwriting has improved since coming to Vienna, most definitely. Vienna has this kind of influence that's subliminal, just like landscapes. This is a different cityscape, it's Baroque, it's, it's got history, it's got culture. You know, there's a real sense of, um, I would like to think wisdom, but it's more experience, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's a, it's a good town, I like it.
Wombeats is an, an initiative of the Wombat City Hostels. Um, they have five locations around Europe and it started here in Vienna. The gang who've set up the Wom Wombeats in the Wombat City Hostels. It's called Wombi Wombat's Music Shelter, or Shelter for Musicians. They, they do just that, they give money for gigs, they offer um, accommodation and they give you the opportunity to travel around Europe and meet other musicians and play gigs. It's really cool. It's been very quick, you know, as, as we spoke about, music tends to open doors, it's like a passport. When I moved here, I met some great singer-songwriters and we set up singer-songwriter circles and we also set up the Schotten Fest, which was a festival based on that Irish culture here in Vienna. And um, yeah, it brings people together. Yeah, for me, I think it's important that musicians go and listen to other musicians because you get inspiration, you, ch you get challenged, you know, and you find yourself listening to music that normally you, you wouldn't play, but it influences you in another way. As a songwriter, you develop your, you develop your lack of ego, where you, you learn to lose that, which is very important, and absorb other styles of writing and, and music to, to generate your own craft. Um, this is, a, this is an, an old song. It's a song about our beautiful son. It's called Star. In modern day, we're all kind of obsessed with religions and things that we have to focus on, but I think we forget about the most important thing in our solar system, which is our, our sun. Sun like a shining star Takes me out where I want Feels like religion calls On top of the world The new album is, is called Lessons in Light and it always comes back to energy and light and stars about our sun, as simple as that. Friends, it takes me out where I feel like smiling I'm on top of the world Content in our time now Raising our sails Spinning